Can we be honest with you? I'm more down yeah. with the second one that has like the ranch and the cheddar cheese and the bacon and like it looks like a fried egg on the bottom. But you know who's not a fried egg? And that's these guys. Yeah, Tom <laughs> versus Zuck Phoners. <laughs> awesome known as Ben JP. <laughs> but at least this time Web JP ain't fighting his owner. But now he has he's he is his owner though. Owner. Yeah. Which is the which is the weird thing, because you're just saying to <laughs> you're just, just insulting. I'm pretty yourself. sure he's being facetious with the whole thing. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm playing a zoner and people hate Lucas. It's whatever, bro. He's, I try not to play him like a zoner. He's insulting himself in this way. <laughs> hey man, there's lots of people that are like there's lots of people who just like they they're just like, yeah, I mess around on this game, whatever, bro, it's fine. <laughs> oh, so I tried learning Lucas, and I was like, man, I can't get any of these confirms. I guess it's time to learn Diddy. <laughs> Why Diddy? Uh, Diddy's... I play Diddy. But, you know, whatever. Diddy's not here. Lucas is. I just really like WebJP's Lucas. Dude. Uh, His downer really usage good. is sick! You know, I, I especially like to see Lucas's that can get, like, maybe three down airs and then end the whole combo with a fourth smash. I mean, I'm sure whoever whoever's fighting them is like, yeah, I'm out of this. Why do you have this? Oh, yo, man. good spike. You can't make it back. Good stuff from uh, Web JP. Uh, but, hey, but Tom's just gonna. Yeah, you know what? I see you're, you're you're getting a little bit too hot. I'm gonna just cool you down a little bit. I'm just gonna run up for tilt you. All right, good, good counter. Time. Doing a little bit of damage. Despite it being a multi-hit move, uh, remember that counters do have a minimum amount of damage that they do. So it's still worth it to go for it. Oh, you got him in mid tether. Yeah, WebJP not getting the, uh, the hitbox he wanted, so it's a little bit weaker. <laughs> I love these, uh, these like, super... Hard swings that Tom goes for actually, and is that? Um, not oh, yet. that's oh, it. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's <laughs> <laughs> now he's just with that web HP he was just trying to go for the disrespect. You know, I don't even think it was a disrespect. I think it was literally him. It was him expecting him to go for the immediate up B because he knew that if he went, if he air dodged, he was dead. Uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> But no, I definitely like, you know, Lucas players that can definitely get, you know, three, those like, with four down tilts. Can, you know, it's like the, I call it like the, like the dance combo. <laughs> the feet dance combo into a fourth, into a fourth match. Oh my god. That happened, that happened to my brother once in practice. <laughs> it was like, and I was commentating that match too. I was commentating my brother's match, and that happened to him. I was like, yo, yeah, you have to expect that, man. <laughs> and that was like one of his first matches. Was like, yeah, you gotta expect that to happen on stream, man. You gotta expect to get styled on stream. Oh man, Tom going for super deep with these hits. But Lucas allowed to recover. With like very little issue now. They extended his snake, they made his snake super big. I think I'm gonna get for that down smash. Yeah, good wait. And Tom learned his lesson. He's like, hey, I'm not gonna try to like, I'm not gonna wait outside of shields for uh, for Lucas to get DA freeze. Was that hurt last time? Yeah. It's definitely one of those things that like you the first time you fight Lucas, you get surprised by, mm. and like you have to look out for it each time after that. All right, good get up attack. It's safest true. way to, to stop that. It's true. It's like when you get when you get you know edge guarded by a down smash, that that immediately goes on your radar. Bro. Unfortunately, now that Tom is just really trying to look for this kill right now. Trying to do with a landing, uh, landing Nickleby, but didn't work. 
I'll be getting him with the Zer with the Zer uh, combo. Again, just poking at him with the uh, with the rope snake. Again, we see like uh, Tom's having some difficulty killing. Like he's playing this pretty smart overall. Yeah. But he yeah. hasn't. Oh. oh, there it goes. <laughs> now he found it. Now he found the kill. He was having some difficulty finding the kill, but he was able to eventually like just kind of sneak it out. But that's not like good for uh, for Tom because he's been having he's been at a deficit this whole set so far. He can't find easy kills, or at least uh, if Webb isn't going to give them to him, he's going to keep having issues. Yeah, that's always good. Point. All right, good use of the Piggy Thunder one. And again, like we see him complete the side beam, and the, it's gonna it ended up punishing him. It wasn't a super hard punish because you get the spike in the box, but it still yeah. wasn't good for him. He still gets punished regardless of the down air and the shield. All right, good, interesting read. He was, go down smash him he was able to shark him. And one big difference in this matchup is the fact that yes, you can counter if he gets under off the stage, but it's not going to be a super heavy punish if you do so because it's a multi-hit unless you get the last hit nice f smash tom mm. finally holding the lead for the first time this set yeah, now what can he turn this into remember lucas just has kill throws even if um web jp doesn't use them a lot in this matchup at least uh he does have kill throws so it's very important that uh, tom's cognizant of that because he could die very quickly if he's not and that's gonna be the stock yeah, but that's, uh, that's the kind of confirm he was looking for. Mm-hmm. You know what? Tom is not letting that get him down. He's, uh, this is a slobber knocker. He's just trying to keep swinging, keep this kid under pressure. Very nice. I think Jason with JP. Again, catching the down tilt with grab, has him on stage. A little bit too early with the down smash, gets Shark for his trouble. Yeah, and now again we have uh, Tom at a huge disadvantage, and that's gonna be it. No, that's mm, not. No, Snap is nice. so good. Magnet hands. Well, not really. I don't know. <laughs> he was kind of super low. I was so sure that was gonna be it, but he managed to get it back. Very nice. He's gotta be careful about swinging near the ledge. Oh, and he didn't sweep. That's not. That wasn't a sweet spot inside. Be unfortunately, and that would have killed. Might be it. Oh, he misspaced uh, his down air. That's unfortunate. Honestly, he probably could have just done runoff back air uh, as a safer option uh, because Lucas was getting to the point where it might have been attackable if he got the uh, strong hitbox. Take time at this point to just go for the frame trap. Oh man. But unfortunately, he can't. He can't. He can't keep him in the. He can't keep him in the corner. All right. Again, we have both characters at kill throw percent. Lucas is really close. Ah, one more. Yeah. That's it. Uh, he got him. Yep. Nicely done by Tommy. Managed to grab him on the uh, on the land. No. Very well done. Yeah. Just with that, Tommy's able to make this a tight set. I'm really surprised after the way that the first game went. I was honestly expecting. Uh, not a blowout, but I was expecting it to be a lot less uh, close than it's been this past game. Tom actually, like, he recomposed himself. He figured out what he was doing wrong. And now he was able to take a game pretty soundly. Very nicely done on his part. That's, that, that's the good quality that you want to see from players. You know, you want to see them able to make rebounds like that. You know, figure out what you need to do on the fly and just recompose yourself and just get your head back in the game. Yeah, for sure. Winner of this will go on to face Quid and then uh, winner semis. Oh god. Three, two, one. Okay, well, we 
Web Web has decided to bring this one to FD. This is a pretty solid choice. Yeah, not a bad choice. Uh, he's definitely really good at tech chasing, so this is a great choice for Web. Uh, however, he is fighting Roy, and jeez, bro, come on! That can't be legal. But yeah, let me just uh, take you across the stage with my little sneak. <laughs> don't don't give Nintendo any ideas. Well, they're not gonna pass that out anytime soon, I don't think. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, uh, Lucas is a little bit too light and floaty for that to work. Nice anti here from Tom. Yeah, Tom, uh, still keeping this pretty close. One hit is gonna do it for, uh, it's gonna take out WebJP, but no. It's a two-way streak! Well, that, that hit didn't do it. One thing I don't really see, one thing I really don't see Tom doing a lot is going for, like, uh, frame trap side view. Yeah. Way. I mean, I think the fact that, uh, oh, no. oh, that's gonna be death, man. I think the fact that Lucas is so floaty, uh, makes it so that going for stuff like side B, um, just, Going for delayed side beast can be kind of risky because Lucas tends to float really well. He's not going to just fall into the hit press of hits. And that is an option. Uh, now that they've patched uh, PK Freeze to not put him in fall special, you can just do it two or three times at the ledge and still make it back because he has a better PK Thunder 2 than um, Nestlas. And I just liked how uh, WebJP was still able to tackle on that damage while off stage. I mean, I would like to actually, despite the fact that counter doesn't offer as much reward as it would against Ness, I would still like to see Tom just run off and do a few counters. The reason that uh, that WebJP is just doing this is because he realized that Tom isn't going to bother trying to challenge it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I I kind of see out of WebJP, I kind of see like a, a John Member S style like gameplay. <laughs> you know. Kind of like going off stage, taking the you know, giving giving uh, Tom the damage while off stage because Lucas don't insult Rob JP like that. <laughs> it's the truth, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. Numbers is, numbers is a sweetheart, and he's in the chat. I know. He, oh, oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, he just joined. Uh, but but you know what? Numbers isn't on screen right now, and he never will be because he doesn't like Wi-Fi. But <laughs> good PK Thunder one to to knock back Tom. Roy I does have a kind of a limited like recovery. <laughs> I didn't mean to summon him like that, though. <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh, dude, that oh, death! Oh, no, no, He was no, dead anyways. That. Roy doesn't have a good enough recovery to make it back to that, regardless. Um, if he air dodges off the stage like that. And what JP was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna tap you. Just to, like, make sure, you know. Just to make sure you're dead. <laughs> just be 100% certain that you're dead. Yeah. And you know what? Good job to Red JP. He's moving on to play uh, Quid in the loser winner semis. Oh, semis. Yeah, winner semis. All right, and we're moving on to our uh, first best of five set of the events. It's going to be uh, Zach versus Mousetrap. Now, Zach did eventually, uh, he did pull out Sonic in his set against Orchard. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. You know, I think he's just playing both characters. Yeah, he's just playing both here, and he just played, he played Sonic that whole set against Orchard. Orchard, who played Ness and Duck Hunt. Oh, interesting. I mean, uh, it definitely makes sense for, um, I need to